Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Welcome back to Middle Earth Gaming and this is another unboxing video because we have a new model that has been released. It is Elrond Master of Rivendell uh, as you guys can see here. Um, wonderful new plastic kit from the Middle Earth team. Um, so in here we get Elrond mounted, Elrond on foot and the High Elf with Banner Bear. Absolutely gorgeous looking models. Um, so in this video I'm going to unbox them. Um, I'm going to build them up as well and we'll have a little chat about them. Um, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I also, uh, yeah, so happy uh, release day for Elrond. Also picked up some of the new Rivendell dice sets. Um, picked up uh, two sets of them. Also picked up two sets of the Dale dies as well. So hopefully we might be able to do, uh, do some uh, giveaways in the future for them. Uh, but who knows, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into the, into the unboxing. If you guys go on to, make, to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. But now, let's get straight into it. All right, guys, so here we go. So here is the uh, the box, as you guys can see. Uh, Elrond Master of Rivendell. Comes with the uh, High Elf banner, which is a very cool model. Um, Elrond on horseback, or Elrond mounted, and we have Elrond on foot, as is uh, depicted in the Second Age, um, the Battle of the Last Alliance, um, the Battle of the Dagolad, that kind of stuff. All very cool stuff. Um, comes with three set of images. We have Elrond Master of Rivendell, Elrond Her von Brochtal, uh, however you want to say it. On the back, we have all the colors that uh, are required to paint it. Um, I will probably be... I don't know how I'm going to paint mine yet. I might do the armor of how the um, Warhammer TV did theirs. It looks pretty uh, similar. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. So I've already opened it. Uh, it does come cellophane already. Um, so uh, I've, already, I've just taken that off. But uh, once you open it, you will get... Uh, well, let's go with the uh, boring stuff first. So we have... Uh, three bases right here we have a uh, 40 millimeter round base for the uh for the cavalry and two 25 millimeters for the foot models then we have this uh this instruction booklet tells you how to uh build how to assemble uh each of the models um there's no multi-part unfortunately like, there's no different faces uh, i don't know if they can actually be interchangeable i don't think they would be but you never know. Um, we'll check it once we get once we get on the frame. But a very cool model nonetheless. Um, yeah, he's he's very he's very very cool. And then we have the sprue itself. Um, so here we go. So we have the horse right here. As you can see, really nice detail on the horse. And the uh, the painting guide actually makes it uh, makes it look like I paints it pretty well. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people, like not just me, are not a fan of painting horses. So. Hopefully this one paints up uh, quite nicely. We have uh, one of the cloaks. It might be for the High Elf Banner Bearer, possibly. Is that Elrond's sword? Let's see. Let's see on this side, shall we? Very nice detail, as you can see. There's one of the swords as well. And we have. Uh, Elrond's faces right there You guys can see that very well. It looks very creepy at this point <laughs> With just having the uh, the front of the faces there um, And then there is the back so it does look like they are interchangeable so if you wanted uh, you know the roaring one on foot or uh, you know <laughs> As he's uh, depicted in this uh, picture here. I guess you could do that if you really wanted to um which would be pretty cool. We have the uh, High Elf helmet. Looks so cool. So much more detailed than the uh, old High Elf warriors. And then we have uh, this pose right here. And I don't know... Ah uh, yes, that is, the, that is the High Elf banner bearer. So as you guys can see, absolutely magnificently de detailed. Um, the first plastic warrior model since uh, 2013, I want to say. Very, very cool. I think the last plastic models we got were the, um, was it the, uh, Merkle Rangers and the Palace Guard, I want to say. So this is technically a plastic warrior. Um, who knows what that could mean for the future of the game, but we'll have to wait and see. Imagine an army of High Elves looking exactly like this. That would be, uh, absolutely amazing. We have the banner itself, which is nicely engraved. So it should be nice and easy to paint up, hopefully. And on the other side, a nice little spear as well that uh, can be used. 
Then we have uh, one of the Elrond poses. I'm guessing it's probably the one on on uh, on on the uh, on the horse mounted, with his uh, nice hair and braids in there as well. I'm trying to get some nice uh, detail in there for you guys. There you go. Um, again, this looks like it's the one that's on mounted. Um, again, looks a bit strange at the moment because. Uh, He's not uh, put together. You can see his little elf ear there, which is kind of cool. And then uh, this will be the one on foot. He's posed on foot. We have the other side of the horse as well. And there's a few extra pieces on here as well, which is uh, all very, very cool. Um, can't wait to build this guy up. Um, so that is exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go build him up and uh, we'll come back once I built him and uh, hopefully uh, he looks pretty cool and I'll show you guys off and uh, we'll end this video. Alright guys, and I am back. Uh, they, as you guys can see, they are now all built. Um, and I'm going to show you guys. So, um, here we go. So here is the uh, the High Elf Bannerman. Um, as you guys can see, absolutely beautiful guy. Um, absolutely beautiful um, design and uh, model in general. Beautiful sculpt. And yeah, I can definitely imagine seeing a massive... Um, High off army, last lines army, looking exactly like this guy. You can just see like the details on, like it's focusing on. There you go. Better without the hand there. You can see like the details on the helmet there. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's kind of. There we go. Nice detail on the face as well. Really looking forward to paint these guys up, to be honest. Um, it's gone again. Um, but yeah, I really, um, I'm really, really very cool. And the banner itself is awesome as well. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it, they've all gone to together quite well. There's really no, um, no gaps or anything like that. Like, there's probably, like, maybe one or two. Like, you can probably see, like, under there is probably maybe one, but you probably won't even know. Um, where was it on? I think it was on Elrond. Like, under there, like, you don't really see it, though, to be fair. Like, under there, but, yeah, you, you, I don't think you'd ever have to green stuff or anything. Such is the wonders of these, uh, new plastic, uh, kits. Uh, and this is, uh, mounted Elrond, as you can see. Again, such a beautiful sculpt. Really looking forward to uh, paint this guy. Really nice to find horse as well. So it should be uh, hopefully nice to paint up. Again, like I said before, don't like painting horses. But um, should be uh, should be quite fun. And yeah, this is like I've got no interest of doing like an elf army at the moment. Like maybe if they do like, you know, new uh, plastic, <laughs> plastic uh, high elves like this one. Um, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely probably pick some up, but, uh, yeah, this has got nothing to do with, like, a new army or anything like that, this is just for the cool, cool factor, and, um, wanting to paint up, like, a new model that's just released, um, so I'm actually gonna paint this guy up pretty damn soon, um, um, maybe even, maybe, but, maybe try to undercoat it and get some, uh, colours on it tonight, but, uh, we'll have to wait and see, hopefully it won't take me too long to paint these guys up, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, absolutely awesome looking models. Try and get a nice little Is it focusing. There you go, right on the face there. Nice face to paint up as well. Nice look at the hair and the cloak. Very, very cool. And then, probably what is even more impressive is the Fort Elrond. Like, I don't know, but that looks like Hugo Weaving. That looks like that. Like, that, like, I know it's like this face right here. I probably should have swapped the faces, to be fair. But, like, it is quite, um, quite remarkable, I gotta say. He's um, a very nice likeness, and hopefully I can do it justice, um, is my hope. Again, really nice, like, work on the chain mail. 
and everything like that. Nice looking cape again. Again with the hair, the little elf ears, which I think are kind of cool. The armor, which I've got now, I've got like a. I know how I'm going to paint the armor now, which is awesome. Hopefully, it comes up nice. Nice and good. Yeah, nice. Uh, very sleek looking face. Um, very, um, very elegant as well. Nice looking sword there as well. Should be uh, really nice to paint up. Really looking, uh, really good looking elf lord. Which is, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, there were a few mold, mold lines on here. Um, especially like going down, you probably see like the remnant, remnants of one here, um, and like going down here. Um, again, like, you know, you can't, you can't do much about it. Um, just, you know, scrape out it away a little bit. Um, got my uh, old hobby knife here. As you guys can see, it's very, very old. Um, but yeah, it's uh, going to be very cool to clean up. Uh, sorry, to uh, paint up, I should say, because I've already cleaned it up. So, yeah, I'm going to basically, hopefully, uh, undercoat these guys tonight and um, get some colours on them. But uh, you guys probably see this these guys in a hobby vlog, hopefully, pretty soon. I know I haven't done a hobby vlog in quite a while, in a few months, actually. Um, I do have a hobby vlog that I had planned on coming out this month, but I've now it's now going to be delayed to next month, um, just because um, a few things arose. Um... But it'll be a nice bumper hobby vlog with hopefully maybe these guys are turning up in there as well. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm also going to be painting um, this guy at the same time. Uh, Glorfindel foot and mounted because I'm going to do the same armor for Glorfindel. Uh, for, sorry, for Elrond, uh, for Glorfindel as well. Um, so I just got to do a little bit of green stuffing. Haven't, I, I built these guys like a couple of weeks ago when I first got them and I have not touched them since. Um, so this I was waiting for Elrond. So I'm paint these guys all up at the same time. Um, this nice little batch of uh, Elven heroes and, uh, well, warrior, I guess. Um, but yeah, Elven command kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that was the um, that was the Elrond Master of Rivendell unboxing and uh, building video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, as you guys, yeah, they're just awesome looking models. Um, yeah, like I said, can't wait to paint them up myself. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome indeed. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, and as always, happy gaming.